Case numbers are an indicator, and an indicator we should pay attention to, but we have to pay attention to all the data, not just the scariest data. So we should also be looking at hospitalizations. In fact, we should be focusing on hospitalizations and death rates. Uh, as far as hospitalizations go in Houston, one of the hardest hit places in Texas, uh, our growth rate in hospitalizations has almost flattened. Now that's a few days of good trends. It, it could change and we, and we have to be cautious and continue to wear our masks, socially distance, and, and not gather in large groups, but the trend is going in the right direction. Our death rate in Texas uh, continues to be one of the best in the world, actually. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's 10 times higher in New York, and as a fatality rate, again, we are one of the best in the world. Uh, our hospitals still have vast amounts of capacity. They can surge upwards of thousands of beds. Now, this is an important point because a lot of Democrat politicians and media pundits have deliberately misled the public on this, made people believe that their hospitals Hospitals are overrun when, when they are not, and this is really problematic and actually deadly because people are too afraid to go to the hospital to get care for whatever kind of illness they might have. And so it's really important for people to know that if they need care, they need to go to the hospital.